Hello and welcome back this time for a review of the brand new 900 Global Zen Soul. Let's get right into it. This features the Meditate Symmetric Core found in the other two Zen family balls. No modifications there. The S77 Hybrid cover stock. Bowling on the fresh house shot today at Millennium Bowl. We did go pin up on this one. So five and a half by four by two and three quarters puts the pin right above my middle finger. We'll get right into the shots here right off the bat. This ball read as a little heavy on the pearl side as far as the cover stock formula. I would wager that S77 Response Hybrid is two parts pearl, one part solid. I tried to kind of get lined up at first with the video. So you'll see I'm in between third and fourth arrow and I had a pretty good look. I could get it wide and get it back to light mix. If I hit what I was looking at, it went high flush and packed them. The overall shape I saw out of this ball was reminiscent of the Trend 2 because it had this sort of built-in boomy shape where it would hook off of the end of the pattern regardless of what I did with my hand. Something like that tends to be really useful on a little bit easier conditions because even if you miss it a little bit, it's still going to tend to get back and carry. The next handful of shots I'm going to gradually move in and sort of test how much I can get this ball to come back from bigger angles. One thing I did not like about the Zen Master is it really could not handle steeper angles. There was a cliff that I sort of got into and it was fourth arrow-ish, maybe a little bit deeper, and it just would not recover, would not make the corner. I was in between a bucket and a 10 pin as soon as I got deeper than that on a couple of different conditions at a couple of different places. So the Zen Master fell out of my rotation just a little bit because the phase two tended to edge it out. It was similarly early, but I could get it to shape a little bit more from deeper. You'll see the Zen Soul doesn't have a problem really from deeper angles because it is uh, at least part pearl, I think majority part pearl. As far as symmetric hybrids that we've currently got in the line, obviously the Trend 2 is part of the excluded bowling balls. Uh, so we've only got the Phase 3 left. This feels considerably stronger than that. And R3S Hybrid is a fairly strong cover stock. So this feels like a good 3 to 5 boards possibly stronger than the Phase 3. That might be something I could do. In the future, as a comparison between this and a fresh phase three, if you guys would like to see that, let me know down in the comments. I chose to compare to the original Zen and the phase two today. So uh, once I get a couple of more deep shots, I'm going to move back right and try to really roll this thing up the track. And then we'll get into the comparison. You'll see as I move in uh, and get into like 27, 28 with some loft, it doesn't quite want a corner. Uh, this was a fresh house shot when I got onto it, so they weren't particularly developed. It's impressive that it was playable to about fifth arrow and I could still get it to go through the pins the right way by uh, changing my rotation or changing my speed just a little bit. You'll see as I minimize my rotation and really roll the ball forward out here towards the track area that it gives me a really nice shape as well. Sometimes the smoother symmetric balls are not great for me to kind of trap and keep in front of me at an angle like this because they flat corner pin. It excites me about this ball that it appears to be an exception to that that I see out of a lot of the other sort of slower cover symmetric balls. Getting into the comparison here, you'll see that compared to the Zen, the Zen Soul is a fair bit sooner and a little bit rounder off of the pattern. It doesn't get quite as far on the lane and make quite as big of a move. It's a little more uh, predictable, a little less angular. These balls are drilled on the exact same layout. So this Zen, this Zen Soul, and this Phase 2 are all on the same layout. So they're five and a half by four by two and three quarters. So you'll see here the Zen Soul may be three boards stronger overall and it's all sort of in the front part of the lane and how it reads the back part of the lane because it rolls quite a bit earlier. The Zen really pushes and then makes a big move off the end of the pattern where the Zen Soul sort of slows down and reads it a little bit more evenly. This seems like a better one-two punch for me than the Zen Master and the Zen because the Master really got out of play quickly as I got in and had to chase it left and open up my angles where I don't see the Zen Soul doing that quite as much. Getting into the comparison with the Phase 2, you'll see that the Phase 2 is quite a bit earlier. So that Zen Soul obviously uh, a little bit cleaner. Uh, another reason why I think it's a little heavy on the Pearl side, I think that formula is two parts Pearl to one part solid because the Phase 2 is easily three or four feet earlier and overall a lot smoother. This Phase 2 on this particular layout does not quite have that big boom down lane that I see out of the Zen Soul. Uh, it is a whole lot smoother, so in my opinion, the Phase 2, it would be better on tougher conditions. If you get on something a little bit easier, like a half shot or a league shot, I think the Zen Soul might be a great one ball because it's still got some punch and got some angle for a duller, smoother cover stock. Release date on this one is May 27th as we wrap up the comparison to the Phase 2 here. Get yours at your local pro shop May 27th or come see me at Millennium Bowling Supply. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. 
please subscribe. It really helps me out. Other than that, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.